Hello and welcome to another Behind the Scenes on Sea of Thieves. Today I'm joined by software engineer Stephen Frost and senior designer Andrew Preston and we are talking all about traps. From a design perspective, what is the thought process behind traps? Well, when we first started kicking off Tall Tales, we wanted to look at getting traps in, uh, into Sea of Thieves. We really wanted that kind of Indiana Jones perilous feeling uh, in the game and, and started planning out how we were going to build a system around that. We actually looked at trying to separate them into two distinct areas. We had triggers, which are anything that can kind of trigger a trap, like a lever or a pressure plate. And then we have actions, which are kind of the outcome of the trap. So like maybe a big blade like swinging inside a, a cave or maybe some, some spikes coming up out of, out of the floor. And we built it in that way so we could kind of mix and match triggers and actions in any kind of combination so that we could have all this different gameplay variety for players. And so what are some of the technical challenges we face by bringing that into that online shared world? Yeah, so there, there are many technical challenges. I mean, to the kind of system that Andy spoke to about kind of like combining triggers and actions, building that system in a flexible way so that, you know, designers like Andy can combine these in many different ways that weren't even originally planned uh, was quite difficult. And specifically with kind of networks games, uh, synchronizing these things between the client and the server is really difficult. So like for the scythes and swings, for example, you know, kind of synchronizing them between the client and the server was a big challenge, you know, both from kind of a tech point of view and from a gameplay work point of view. Yeah, I mean, like we're a first person game and a network game. We made, made a lot of adjustments to the, the kind of hit capsules of the traps to make sure that you never felt cheated when you were kind of going past them and that they were like actually clipping the back of you, but you felt as a player that you'd actually gone past the trap and overcome it. What, what sort of types of traps are we going to see? We've got, we've got a variety of, of traps in ready to go for Tall Tales. Um, as soon as we kind of got the system in place, we, we started experimenting quite a lot with like, the different types of traps. We started with scythes and like your kind of traditional uh, Indiana Jones kind of traps. We've got kind of pressure plates in caves where if you stand on them, it will trigger like a set of traps for players uh, to overcome. And we've got levers that are kind of in a dormant state. And if you go and, if you go and pull them, then it'll actually activate traps and you can kind of use those against threats uh, like, like skeletons. And traps are part of the emergent world that you see of these. They kind of behave in the way they expect and kind of interact with other parts of the world. So if you see kind of chickens or pigs running along or skeletons, the traps will probably interact with them in the way you expect to. So it sounds like you've created an amazing tool there. So what are the plans for traps moving forward? Well, obviously we've, we've got all the, all the traps that are part of um, Tall Tale Shores of Gold, um, and then they're persistent in the world as well. So those islands will, will permanently have those traps on them. But I see as um, creating new traps in the future um, with a kind of new gameplay, um, and then getting them in around more islands in the world as well. So up until now, the islands have been stages for players to create these great adventures and have these great stories on them. And obviously adding traps and mechanisms into that mix is making the islands a lot richer to interact with themselves. So going to get more and more stories out, out of that. So we want to keep adding traps and adding mechanisms onto the islands to make the world richer. Awesome. Well, that's a really cool insight into traps. And I hope you're all up for the challenge when traps come as part of Tall Tales and the anniversary update on April 30th. Cheers. Did that make sense? Thank you very much for watching. Remember, if you liked what you saw, then there's a wealth of content already on our channel and there's lots more to come. So subscribe and click that little ship's bell for all those notifications. Cheers.